Well, hello, PPHS techies. Man, I'm so excited about cycle three. And you know what? I am so proud of you all. You're getting used to the PPHS way and you are getting used to our approach to learning. That's a big step and a big deal. So thank you for all who do what you're supposed to do each day and who is taking your future seriously. Now, our vision for you in cycle three is to hone in on being one, a curious and self-directed learner. You can do this when you're in your PLT space by putting on some headphones and really getting focused on your personalized learning, whether it's in that mental or your assignments in your sessions. Also, we would like for you to be a mindful collaborator. You can hone this in when you are working with your group in your passion projects and your industry projects. And lastly, we're going to hone in you being an agile professional. And you can hone this in doing in all of your activities throughout the day by making great choices and following the rules and being a good techie. Now, we were so proud of celebrating and rewarding our students who had 95% and above in attendance. That means they attended here for 95% of the time. It was awesome to have them all in that space and they received their reward. It was either a bagel or a donut. Good donuts at that. <laughs> but you know what? We would like to reward more students. Therefore, we're going to have a new initiative for cycle three regarding attendance. I'm so geeked about this. If you have 95% or more in attendance for cycle three, now keep in mind, your slate is clean. So starting today, if you come to a school for more than 95% of the time, two things can happen. One, if you have 70% in your Edmentum courses or more, then you do not have to take your end of the semester uh, test to earn credit. Also, in your PLC, if your PLC as a whole have 95% attendance or more, you will earn yourself a pizza party. Now, you have to December 10th. December 10th to attend school 95% or more. That one, well, it can exempt you from your end of semester test. Or two, you can get a pizza party. We are so excited about this initiative. So tell your friends, talk to yourself, make sure you are here every day. 95 plus attendance is what gets you pizza, and exempt from your semester test. At the end of the, day, of the day, we desire to see you every day. So let's have a wonderful cycle three, and I hope to see you the next time after December 10th with peace in your mouth. <laughs> have a fabulous day. Good morning, techies, and welcome to the cycle three, nine kickoff. First off, wanted to thank, you may have noticed that uh, our YouTube page has really improved in quality. Wanted to thank uh, the students in Coach Hurd's graphic design project from last cycle for helping us enhance uh, all sorts of things that you'll, you'll see logos and thumbnails uh, be improved because of their hard work on graphic design. Also wanted to thank our Cycle 3-9 industry partners. If you're a year one student, you'll be working in Cycle 3 with IndyCar around the challenge of optimize. If you are a year two uh, cycle nine student, you'll be working on uh, with Belstrom Milling on the challenge of grow. I uh, also wanted to take a moment to highlight three of the competencies that are learned in these cycles. The first one is the iterative process. This is a cycle three industry project competency. And in some ways, uh, you in cycle three are experiencing PPHS version 27. That's because it's our fifth year and this is the third cycle and each cycle we learn from the previous cycle and make slight adjustments to enhance the learning experience. In that same way, 
I'd love for you to take what you've learned from these previous cycles and just add some small tweaks uh, with that end goal of getting across the stage when you graduate as a senior. So if you're a freshman, this might be version three for you. If you're a senior, this might be, well, three years of six cycles each, plus this is the third cycle, version 21. And so what can you have learned from the previous cycles uh, uh, to improve and focus your efforts this cycle? One of the other competencies uh, in cycle three is to analyze and interpret data. And in the same way that Indy car drivers and the teams analyze all sorts of data to make the fastest car, I'd love for you to take a moment and reflect on your data. How are you doing in Edmentum, your immersions, uh, your credits? And you can work with your PLC coach. They have a dashboard you can uh, ask for. It's called Mothership. And they can see all of this information about you and provide coaching tips about how to uh, level up and iterate uh, your approach so that you can earn those credits and graduate with us. And that leads to the third competency. Cycle nine has a competency, problem solving. Each cycle, we do some form of problem solving, but I'd love for you to think about what gaps did you have in previous cycles? What bugs were there? And how can, in cycle three, can you squash those bugs, solve those problems so that you have a, uh, a way better experience? Maybe it was uh, arriving late to school and you can problem solve, turn that design thinking onto yourself. You be the user of your problem solving. Maybe it was that you were coming late to school and a small tweak in your morning routine can make sure that you come on time. Maybe it's that you're struggling with a particular subject and a uh, coming to gear up after school tutoring on Tuesdays and Thursdays helps you solve that problem. If though you are encountering problems that are school-wide, things that, hey Coach Gooden, I think if we tweaked this or if we did this, uh, then email me and let's set up a time to chat uh, through the problems that you're experiencing and some of the solutions you might have. We have a great example of this. A group of our seniors is working on an industry project pilot where they'll be teaming up with coaches to co-coach industry projects. And that idea was completely originated uh, by some seniors. So think uh, if you're a senior, college applications, many of them are due soon. Uh, for many, the deadline is January 15th. So really hit the ground running this cycle uh, and let us know as there, uh, if there's anything you need. Hope you have a wonderful cycle. Good morning, PPHS family. This is Coach Riggs with this week's announcements from the culture team. First, I would like to introduce you to the newest member of the culture team, Coach Garrett. She is our redirection specialist. When you see her today, make sure to introduce yourself and welcome her to our school. As mentioned before, if you receive six or more tardies or skips in a cycle, you are required to attend detention. Detention is scheduled for Wednesdays from 9 to 10 a.m. The great news is that attendance resets this cycle, so every student gets a clean state. Being on time to and reporting to your scheduled classes on time is extremely important to your success. Make sure you get there on time. Starting this cycle, students will no longer be allowed to get passes to PLT spaces. However, you're still able to get a pass from PLT to a coach space. In order to make this happen, you should get a written pass from the coach of the class that you're going to. The pass should include your name, the date, the time to report, and the coach's name. I want to send a huge shout out to students that have been earning points for being accountable, knowledgeable, respectful, and motivated. The following is a list of our top earners. These individuals will receive a voucher to dress down on any day in cycle three of their choosing. 
Kudos to those students that have come to me or another co trusted coach for support with conflict in order to keep our community safe and peaceful. If you or someone you know needs help solving an issue with another student or coach, please come talk to Coach Riggs. That's all I have for you now. See you next time. Welcome to a new Psycho Techies. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Coach Fernanda and I am located on the first floor of our school. As we get into the colder months, I just want to set out a couple friendly reminders and things for you guys to keep in mind. It is getting colder outside, so I am aware that a lot of us will be choosing to wait indoors and that is absolutely fine. I do ask as we wait indoors that we always keep in mind our levels to our voices and we minimize horse playing. We do have a middle school that is right next door and it, they do hear everything that we do out here. The next thing is vending machines. Vending machines are only to be used before and after school. So if you are planning to use the vending machines, please plan accordingly. And if you're running late, unfortunately, you will not have access to the vending machine. As far as if you all need to see me for personal reasons, this may be for ID issues or a sticker for the back of your ID or ID replacement or a letter that your parents may need. I'm asking that you come and see me during your passing periods and during your lunch times. These are the best times for you all to come and see me. That way you all are not losing class time. As always, if you all need anything from me, I am always here in the front desk and I wish you guys the best for this upcoming cycle. Good morning, PPHS students and families. This is Coach Crawford from the College and Career Corner. Um, just wanted to briefly jump on and touch bases um, about a few um, topics. Um, first, I wanna start off with seniors. Um, graduation will be here before you know it. Um, you all should have been notified in regards to your status um, as far as being on pace for graduation or not. If you have any additional questions or you have questions around whether you're eligible for graduation, what do you need to do to be eligible, please come find me in room 215. Um, if you're not scheduled into this session, um, any of the sessions, please just get a pass, come down, find me. Um, we can go over in depth um, where you are um, in terms of graduation. Also, if you are a senior who has not passed ISTEP and you wanna opt into a grad pathway, um, let's please have a conversation. I know Coach Krista came and spoke with um, seniors in depth. Juniors, um, this is a new graduation requirement that applies to you. Also sophomore class and freshman class. Um, juniors, we will be getting information out to you so that you can opt into a graduation pathway. Um, since testing requirements and um, testing has changed um, around uh, graduation. Um, so just did want to make sure I touch, touch base on that. Um, you will have an I-STEP testing window for seniors um, in December. Please um, stay tuned for that information. Then also students that are um, looking to take advantage of some dual credit opportunities. Um, we have dual credit classes being offered through Trine University that are eight weeks in length. We also have Purdue Fort Wayne that will be signing up students um, for cycle four. Um, for students that are looking to take dual credit classes starting in cycle four, we need to go ahead and get your applications um, up and going. So please come and see me about that. Then if you're interested in taking dual credit classes through IUPUI SPAN program, that application deadline is November 15th. Please come see me and I'd be happy to walk you through that as well. We also have opportunities with City of Wheels. If you are someone who is interested in a career in the automotive industry, um, students would need to apply by December 15th um, for that full academy experience from January through May. That would be an awesome opportunity. Um, please reach out if you are interested in automotive. Also, if you are a student that is working and um, you have a job, 
Um, we are able to award credits for those students. You have to complete a certain amount of hours. Um, please come see me and get that paperwork and I'll be happy to get that information to you. Good morning, Techies. This is Coach Bowling for the November 9th edition of This Week in Techie Sports. As we wrap up the fall seasons, just a few shout outs I wanted to give. Volleyball player Jayla Miller was named to the all city and all conference volleyball team. Great job, Jayla. In soccer, Ryan Sanchez, Jose Vargas, and Solomon Livingston made all conference this year. Great job, gentlemen. And of course, our cross country teams, led by Coach Longest, has back to back conference championships in both boys and girls cross country. Great job, cross country. With the end of fall, we're rolling right into winter sports. Girls basketball is underway and won their first game 75 to 10 at Crystal House Manual last week. And we'll be playing tonight against Irvington Prep. Please be there at Howe High School for the six o'clock JV game and a 7.30 varsity game. Boys basketball is doing tryouts this week. So if you're interested in playing boys basketball, please get a hold of Coach Teague or Show up at Howe after school at five from 5.30 to 7. Tryouts will be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this week. If you're interested in wrestling, Coach Corey is still recruiting wrestlers for the Techie wrestling team. And if you're interested in swimming, please see myself and join Techies, the Techies' first swimming and diving team. I hope everyone's having a great uh, third cycle, and we hope to see you out to support all techie sports. Thank you. Good morning. Coach Bradstreet here. Tell you a little bit about the new bathroom policy at PPHS Inglewood. This policy is being enacted because some of our students have not made the correct choices while using the bathrooms here at Purdue Polytech. So we have, as a brain trust, come up with a new bathroom policy. And I'm going to walk you through it right now. Part one. Bathrooms will only be unlocked during passing periods. Part two, bathrooms will also be open before and after school. And the third part, if you need to use the bathroom during class, get a pass to the nurse's office. Again, this policy is being enacted because students are not utilizing the bathrooms the way they should be used, utilizing them here at Purdue Polytech High School. Thank you. We are also offering up a reward for any information on the bathroom vandalism. Do you have video or photo evidence of the bathroom vandalism? If you do, email Coach Broadstreet. 